An eight-year-old in Mason County is asking for thousands of toys this Christmas. Yeah, but they're not for him. They're actually for a project that he started when he was five years old. Tessa DiTiro tells us about the Smile Wagon. Tessa. Well, Logan's first year collecting, his goal was 100 toys. His first grade class helped him donate more than 500. The next year, he donated more than 700. And this year, he wants to donate 1,000. Logan's big idea came to him when he was five. Some kids don't get a lot of presents, and other people have to give them those presents and make them have a, and make them really happy. He watched people on TV donate toys to kids who needed them. We're going to get all these toys and donate it to the children in the hospital. I want to do that. So he started the smile wagon. Maybe instead of wheelchairs, they can have more fun and go around in wagons instead. Now, there's no stopping him. I'm going to do this until I can't anymore. His mom, Cindy, says a couple weeks ago, he got to see his donations inside the hospital. He saw kids in wagons, and I mean, he stood there in the middle of children's, and there's just tears streaming down his face, and like he actually got to see what they're used for. They don't get to go see all of their family, their grandparents, uncles, and aunts. That's just a little sad. Marcus and Cindy are proud of their son. Yes, he has his own list of things he wants and needs, but the other day he's like, Mom, maybe I should just ask Santa for toys to give to the kids at the hospital. With every new toy in the collection box, another kid has something to smile about this year. It's better to give on Christmas, not to get. So if you want to help Logan donate, you can check out the wish list at local12.com. Because of hospital requirements, the toys need to be new and in original packaging. Doesn't he seem like such an old soul? He yeah. does. His mom I called him eight going on 48. <laughs> well, I mean, to so. get the lesson that it's better to give than to receive, I mean, most people don't get it to their adults, and a lot of adults still don't get it. Yeah. So. Absolutely. And he met it, it seems yes, like. Yes, he did. We can all learn a lesson from can, little sure. Logan. Good story. Yeah. Thanks, Tessa.